Deferred shading is a two-stage process. In the first stage or in the first step, the objects in the scene are rendered into the geometry buffer. Previously in the deferred lighting, we just stored the specular power, normal and the depth. In the deferred shading, we will store depth, diffuse color, world space normal, specular, specular color, smoothness, and emission. So in this step we have stored that many properties and in the next step similarly we will find similarly for each light source we find the affected pixels and read the corresponding data from the geometry buffer calculate the lighting value and store them in the light accumulation buffer. So first, find affected pixels for each light. Read the corresponding data from geometry buffer. Third, calculate the lighting value. And the fourth, store it in light accumulation buffer. So these are the steps very similar to what we saw in deferred lighting. And the fifth step is read the geometry buffer to find out the mesh color, which is by diffuse color, specular color, smoothness, emissive, and add up the accumulated light value to get the final color of the pixel. Now combine the accumulated light values with the mesh color which is the diffuse color, specular color, emissive color and other values that we stored in the geometry buffer. So what becomes the basic difference between the deferred lighting and deferred shading is that in deferred shading, we don't have to render the scene again because when we rendered it in the first step, we stored all the values that we needed to get the final color of the pixel and store them in the geometry buffer. And finally, with those stored values, we combined the accumulated light values to get the final color of the pixel. In the deferred lighting, we didn't store the diffuse color, specular color and other properties and that is why we had to render the scene again to find out those colors and then combine them with the accumulated light values. So that is what deferred shading technique is. For using deferred shading in Unity, there are hardware requirements and hence a lot of games use forward rendering. And some of the requirements are the graphics card with multiple render targets. And the second requirement is the hardware should support shader model 3 or later. And another requirement is support for depth render texture. So these are the different type of rendering techniques or render path we can choose to render lighting in the scenes. And here are some of the examples of different passes or the different data that is collected in deferred shading and deferred lighting. So when world space normal values are collected, the pass looks something like this. And this is the diffuse pass. 